Hey all farmer Dre back at it. We're out here in our you pick pumpkin patch, but today we need some small, nice, mini sized pumpkins. We're gonna pick a half bin. I got Jet. Isaac is coming with the tractor top of the hill, and we are gonna be picking some pumpkins. If y'all remember, this is our you pick patch we planted down here on the bottom of the farm, and uh, there's a bunch of pumpkins out here. This is probably the best crop of pumpkins I have ever grown. There is a bunch, I mean just thousands of all kinds of sizes, varieties, just absolutely amazing. Just a sea of orange. These plants are looking awesome. There's still a few steel fuel green ones there. Well just look at the, you know, that's a that's a 30 pounder right there. Easy. 30 pound jack lantern. You don't take 25 to fill a bin with these. It's absolutely amazing. But looking good, looking real good. So uh but all we need those minis today is we got the pumpkin yard full already. And these are out of the U pick, so technically we shouldn't be picking them, but we need the small ones. Look how many there are, just hundreds and thousands. Alrighty, so these are the ones that we're picking here. Just a nice small, you know, dollar size pumpkins for the kids. Kids love this. This is our second full bin we're picking out of here. Well, technically two and a half, but kids are loving it. I just gotta go up, bud. But yeah, the small ones are great. And also this weekend we're having our pumpkin festival here on the farm so we are prepping for a really big weekend and uh we're gonna have to stock up on a lot of the varieties but no we need a bunch of these small ones so let's go ahead and get after it So as we were picking pumpkins, Jet asked me if I was worried about cross-pollination between the different varieties. And yes and no, with the ones we're picking right now, they are not going to change. But the seeds inside may have different genetics due to the fact that if a bee pulled pollen off a big jack-o'-lantern and pollinated this mini pumpkin, the seeds inside would be a much larger pumpkin because uh, one of the parents is a jack-o'-lantern, one of them is a mini pumpkin. So that's a question he asked and I wanna preface that in the video. Just look how many pumpkins are out here. Absolutely amazing. Five minutes passed by and we're almost done harvesting.
walking through these minis here you can see every six of, about every foot there's a pumpkin everywhere absolutely amazing absolutely amazing this is awesome There she is, folks. 15 minutes later, we got a half bin of mini pumpkins. A little, little dirty. We got about four inches of rain this morning, but it's not terrible. They're looking really good. Really, really, really good. more up tilt forward forward this way more this way more forward here down get back it up perfect so we should be good to go to for the weekend on the pumpkin yard here we have plenty of jack-o-lanterns on the outside here the jacks are looking pretty good and then of course in the center we got a lot of this specialty squash and winter squash and all the ones in the center here you can cook and eat with we got some pretty good pie pumpkins here but yeah this is our pumpkin yard so this is where if folks don't want to go out to the pumpkin patch and pick they can come over here and uh just elect select whatever they ones ones they want the pumpkin patch is about i don't know thousand feet 1200 feet down in the valley there on the other side of the tree line there so it's not too terribly far but a lot of folks don't want to carry their pumpkin up or they go to the pumpkin patch just for the pictures and then they buy their bulk of their pumpkins up here we actually sell um a lot more pumpkins from the pumpkin yard here than we do in the pumpkin patch and this is how this we've done it from the beginning i know there's other farms that don't have a pumpkin yard but the pumpkin yard just real, looks real good for us and pictures and it sells a lot of pumpkins as well but and then of course they grab the pumpkins before they go in the exit barn and head out to the parking lot but yeah uh, we're expecting a big weekend um it'll be a pumpkin our, it's gonna be our pumpkin harvest festival so we're hoping that a lot of folks come out and we have another month until we close the gates and uh we should be good to go but this is gonna be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed us picking a few of these tiny pumpkins uh, they're gonna go great i guarantee you by saturday afternoons will be pretty pretty much empty ideally i should we have so many out there but i kind of want to force them to go pick their own instead of coming up here and picking them because we have so many down there but uh this is gonna be it for today's video if you guys have any other questions or comments go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below if you guys do want to grow some amazing pumpkins kind of like how i grew my pumpkins go ahead and check out the link down in the description box below or go to farmer dre supply that's where you're able to find all your gardening and greenhouse needs irrigation systems fertilizers all that good stuff go ahead and check them out link is down in the description box below all right y'all gonna be it for today if you guys haven't already go hit that subscribe button smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever i do upload a video i want to say thanks for watching up to this point y'all have a good day and we will see you next time mm -hmm.